Welcome to episode 2 of After Trotter. We'll be reviewing the new Panasonic GX9. We're, I'm actually here with a uh, local street photographer, Rob. Hey! We're actually at the uh, Cat Cafe. Pause. Pause. Pause the Cat Cafe. Pause the Cat Cafe. Yes. Perfect. I may or may not be a regular here. I, mean, I, I do a lot of street photography, but I also love mm -hmm. taking pictures of cats, so this place is uh, amazing. And, uh, yeah. They get cats in from the uh, local Humane Society. They're all adoptable. You can come in, get to know them, and uh, play with them. And, you know, for me, I just love coming in and taking pictures of cats. <laughs> Basically, crazy cat person right yes. here. <laughs> now we're just looking over this GX9. I had a few days to actually basically play around with this camera. And a few things, great things about this camera. Rangefinder style. Uh, it's got the tilting EVF, which got carried over from the GX8. It does have a lot of these shortcut buttons, actually, which I really like. The AFS, AFC. There's a little drama going over in the corner. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. A couple of new additions. Pretty much. Great camera. I'm actually sitting around with Rob. He actually shoots a Pen F, and the GX9 is basically geared towards more street photographer type of camera. Uh, travel, uh, same kind of similar rangefinder style, and it offers actually a monochrome mode similar to the, uh, the Pen F as well. Yeah. This is honestly the second time I've uh, held this camera, so you've had a little bit mm -hmm. uh, more experience. But I mean, first off, I I really love the way it uh, it feels. It's very comfortable. I mean, much uh, mm -hmm. like my uh, Pen F, uh, you know, very yeah, similar both style. Both 20 megapixel sensors, no AA. One sensors. thing that immediately jumps out at me is I really do love this tilting back screen as a opposed to the Fully articulated screen on the pen now. Yeah, I mean, to, to move it, I kind of have to put it out to the side and it, you know, essentially doubles the size of the camera, but I really do love uh, the way this feels. I want to take a picture of this uh, business cat here. I'm not a business cat, I'm a business cat. <laughs> I really like the way this is uh, shooting in monochrome mode uh, mm -hmm. as well. It's actually really nice blacks. Uh, really very nice deep, deep, very rich yeah. kind of blacks as yeah, well. Exactly. Another thing I really like on this one is uh, the grain control. Actually, oh, yeah. even too, even in the monochrome mode, you can actually control your grain. I, you're actually able to essentially change your contrast. You can actually make it a little blacks a little bit blacker, a little bit deeper, make the whites a little brighter, sharpness. You'd actually even play with the noise reduction a little bit. And what I really love about this one is actually the um, filter simulation you can actually throw in there. Uh, basically, you have yellow filter, red filter, oh, yeah. similar to the right. Fuji. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what uh, people used to do, used well, to do back sure. in the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And basically, grain effect, I can actually add a little bit of simulated uh, film grain in there as well. It's, it's very comfortable. It's a really nice size. Mm -hmm. How did you find the noise uh, at higher ISOs with the increased megapixels? Um, it's there, but uh, you know, I, it's it, it's it's something we kind of learn to live with. Uh, with I, I typically shoot at, in really bright light at, mm -hmm. at the best of times, so I'm shooting at uh, fairly low ISOs. Mm -hmm. It's only kind of when I get into <laughs> dimmer situations mm -hmm. that the noise becomes an issue. But it's just that much nicer uh, at mm -hmm. that 20 megapixel range. Gives you that kind of film grain kind of a look sometimes yeah, with the yeah, higher ISO. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's what the, what I generally find with Micro Four Thirds is you, you do, I mean I know there's a lot of talk about Fuji with the you know beautiful noise, but mm -hmm. I kind of, I like the way uh, the Micro Four Thirds systems uh, render mm -hmm. noise. It, it looks to me uh, almost as organic as film. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, basically switching over to the microphone. I basically learned to embrace the grain a little bit. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's That's a, character. Like, so. yeah, man, life has yeah. noise. Life has noise. Life has texture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. I know on the Olympuses, you can definitely tap at your auto ISO at a certain limit. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I don't think you can actually adjust the shutter speed, though. The minimum shutter speed. No. No, you Whereas can't. on this one, I'm actually able to set a minimum shutter speed oh, to nice. actually able to yeah. make sure my ISOs don't uh, go right basically. through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like the you know the dual uh, control mm -hmm. wheels as well for uh, for shooting. Mm -hmm. you know, in what do you think about the tilting EVF? That, that I pretty <laughs> <laughs> it seems neat. I've yet to come across an idea where I thought you know this would be. <laughs> Perfect, I've always wanted I to can, look down while shooting. It does kind of give you some interesting angles that you may not get that you would, you know, normally use the the back screen for. Mm -hmm. But I guess it gives you a little bit more stability. <laughs> I'm actually, yeah, I mean, this, this is kind of uh, some. You know what? I'm actually, I kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Another useful thing about the tilt screen is 
if you tilt the screen slightly, you can still control the touchscreen AF. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can tap oh, and drag. Yeah. Now I basically just move the AF to vi business, not business, right? Business. Business. Business cap. <laughs> So another thing, um, what I like about this one, price-wise, also this starts at, yeah. this is basically retails for a thirteen hundred, mm -hmm. but compared to the Pen F, the Pen F you get a body only. Body only. This, kind this of one show. comes with a basically a full frame twenty four to uh, one twenty millimeter yeah. lens. It really comes. With, it's uh... another thing. Also hoods. Yeah. Thank you, Panasonic, for actually <laughs> throwing in a hood. Yeah. Um, a lot of you, if you're used to Olympus lenses and their premium series, like they make you pay for the hood, which things that should come with the mm -hmm. camera. So, so bad Olympus. <laughs> <laughs> and every other manufacturer, for that matter. Now we're gonna get hate mail from all the other manufacturers. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> what I did notice, though, actually, with the tilting EVF. Not only that, it, it seems a little odd at first, but yeah. I actually, when I'm actually uh, getting low angles, instead of using the tilt screen, I find with the tilt screen it's a little bit harder to stabilize yeah. like this. But I'm actually able to essentially brace myself a little bit tighter with the arm, and essentially just have a nicer, stay more stable kind of a shot. So this thing actually, uh, from using other Panasonic uh, cameras, is uh, their 4K photo mode. Right. Pretty similar to Olympus's Pro that Capture, should, basically. Yeah, exactly. And uh, with this one, I'm actually able to basically accept like a pre-burst and essentially just yeah. like hold down the shutter and it just takes a, fi a series of, it's kind of like a mini movie. Yeah. And, and you just like steal a frame and a clip that you really like. Yeah. And yeah. that way you can actually capture, what do we street drivers go after? It's the, the decisive moment. Yeah, that basically. Well, you got that great expression. But you, the you, Henry Cartier Brisson moment. Yeah. That's what. It, that's what they call. It. Oh, wow. well, <laughs> you're studied. I have. I can yeah. prepare. Me, I just I wing it. <laughs> so, flash. Did you do you have a built-in flash on your Pen F? Uh, built-in? No. <laughs> okay. So but it does come you... with a little hot shoe that you can mount the little okay. one that comes and with it. And the one it. you can actually swivel yeah. in. Yeah. So I've actually got a little. Well, look it. at you <laughs> with your fancy camera. I'm actually able to uh, bounce the flash. So actually, a very yeah, yeah. flattering, soft light as well. Right. Bouncing it off the brim of your hat too. Yeah, kind <laughs> of. Actually, it's a, it's a white car. It's a reflector now. Yes. <laughs> very similar cameras. Mm -hmm. I'm actually super impressed by this. Uh, in terms of stills, pretty similar. Both have really great uh, monochrome modes. Uh, I really love the El Monochrome D, just how deep the rich glass. I might actually not even go back to color at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of waffle on that uh, with mine. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, it's the uh, the 20 megapixel too, as opposed to some of the older Olympus. Yep, the uh, 16. The, the Panasonic 16. Is it coming it like is the... noticeable. Uh, you know, I mean, when I shoot on my EM5 16 megapixel, versus, it's just, it is just that a little bit more noticeable. And it's, mm -hmm. it's nice that they found that sweet spot with micro four thirds and mm -hmm. 20 megapixels. I mean, it's just, it, it works really well. Mm -hmm. So another thing, uh, I know your Pen F uh, 1080 video. Yeah. Olympus doesn't claim it's for video, uh, no. great for video or anything like that. This guy here, what I do love about 1080 at 60 frames per second, uh, 4K at 30 yeah. frames per second, and uh, the only issue is I have one gripe with it is kind of um, no headphone jack. That's right. that would be kind of yeah. the only thing. But other than that, uh, what we're doing right now, we're even recording audio externally anyway, so yeah. a lot of people, it, there are workarounds, it's not like a deal breaker or anything like yeah. that. I mean, even when you have a rig with a, yeah. you know, with the built-in input. Pretty uh, much most people are still using external lav mics yeah. anyways, so. And syncing afterwards. Yeah. 4K uh, 30 is pretty standard now, I think, for a Panasonic. How's the image stabilization on that? It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, five axis. Five axis. Yeah. The old GX8 yeah. used to have like a three, four axis. Three, yeah, three axis. But it was weather sealed, mm -hmm. but it was quite large and a lot of people didn't really seem to like that. It did have some weather. That's one thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, it's the first time I've set eyes on that. I mean, I have, <laughs> uh, I played around with the uh, the older version and it, mm -hmm. it was a bit more brick-like. Like this mm -hmm. one, this one feels just a, a little nicer, like a little less strenuous holding it. Basically, yeah. Um, is, yeah, it's a, I think they found a good uh, sweet mm -hmm. spot with weight on this unit as well. There's another neat feature actually I've even seen, even in video mode, uh, if you're doing a lot of B-roll kind of shots, yeah. I've noticed actually uh, you can actually pull focus quite easily. Oh. They have this thing called like a snap movie mode. Right. Which if you're recording, you can only record in two, four, six, or eight seconds. Right. That's it. But you can essentially, I could essentially focus on this cup of coffee and you yeah. and essentially what I can do is essentially just tap yeah. on my initial spot I want to focus. Yeah. 
and then drag over to you, that's where I want it to pull focus from. Right. Which and is actually pretty neat. Nice and smooth. Nice yeah. and smooth, yeah. like beautiful. It just looked like no hunting or anything like right. that. It's perfect. Okay. Shooting around here, yep. there's the Pen F will. One of the, the beauty things about uh, this guy is so many of the controls are just so easy to access. I mean, with one hand, I can flip over to the monochrome profiles with mm -hmm. the dial on the front. And I mean, there are so many assignable buttons. Uh, with this little uh, lever in the back here, I can immediately access uh, Tone curve, uh, tone curve your, yep. uh, flip it the other way, and uh, you're getting, uh, you can do color filters and everything. And Same light on that. this guy. Yeah, yeah you can do yeah. that like nice and easy on the fly while you're doing this. It pops right up in mm -hmm. the viewfinder, and you can make all the changes uh, okay. like that. Uh, it's The the pen just still remains a, like a really functionally uh, nice to use camera. The, the, the cameras have their similarities for sure, and their differences uh, for sure. So, I mean, the, you know, what works best for you uh, kind of, has a, that cat has some strong opinions about the cameras. <laughs> that, cat, that cat must be a... <laughs> now, you were showing me the uh, composite uh, photo I did, photo yeah. There. That, yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it, they have something called like a sequence composition. Se yeah. Comp ah. Sequence composition, Position, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> what happens is essentially, instead of basically going into Photoshop and... Uh, taking all your images and stacking them yourself. Yeah. You can essentially, basically it just does it in camera for you in 20 right. seconds. So basically, you know, you're in a yeah. bike. It is recommended <laughs> on a tripod, but yeah. essentially what it happens is if you're kind of into sports or yeah. into like, uh, just want to capture a whole sequence of images yeah. and then stack them into like a, basically a composite. Into right. like, uh, it's pretty neat. Actually, you set up on a tripod, essentially yeah. what it just records like your motions mm. and essentially just stacks it for you in camera. But yeah, it's what I love about the Micro Four Thirds yeah. systems. There's always these neat uh, little things. Like these the, features that... Yeah, like with the Olympus is the live mm -hmm. composite, uh, where you can kind of compose your own Record long light exposures. And... Uh, you know, light changes even, you know, while you're in there, just add little dashes of light yep. to get a nice, uh, you know, long exposure. You have a lot more control than mm -hmm. uh, the, the just the blindly... Even the live time, I quite the like the live time, yeah. time too. I, it's just... I use that a lot for fireworks. Yeah. Uh, it works really well <laughs> for that. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of cool. So uh, another sim very similar cameras as we're both looking. I actually even switched out to the uh, Panasonic 20mm Pancake 1.7 right. lens. Just to kind of... It's a nice tiny little lens. Little uh, pancake, yeah. yeah I like yeah, that. Yeah. Very uh, minimalist, I find, with mm -hmm. the ring finder style of bodies. Um, yeah. Basically even just... It'll probably actually even fit in my uh, jacket pocket here, actually. That is precisely why I kind of want to grab that 20mm uh, <laughs> lens sometime. Because it, it is just... It just look at that. <laughs> Especially my in the fall, it is popular. Pretty much, yeah. You know, so I mean, that's it's kind of one of the nice. I mean, especially for uh, doing a lot of street photography, yep. as I do. Uh, you know, and you, you kind of want to remain a little bit discreet, un discreet, and... you know, unobtrusive. So you know, a nice small camera like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that in in the black is even more Very unobtrusive. Sleek, I, I kind of went for the retro look because I, I think the Pen Fs are just gorgeous. The, I gotta cameras. admit, though, with the aesthetics, the Pen F has definitely won me over a little bit. Yeah, I mean, in it, terms it, of aesthetics, it, it it looks vintage. The one thing that uh, you know, this and that one apparently, I really wish had uh, was weather sealing. Yeah, that's uh, true. Especially if you're doing street photography, you're outside. Uh, yeah. On top of that, um, just those rain shots are kind of like pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you do get uh, interesting, uh, you know, urban shots. Some and, reflections. You know, possibilities, reflections and, uh, and cools and stuff like yeah. that. And you, you don't want to take a $1,300 camera out into the driving and range. And get it waterlogged. Yeah, uh, exactly. That camera please, the weather seal these street cameras. Please. Please. <laughs> please. I implore you. <laughs> I will pay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But not oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just throw it in. Bonus. That would it's be like, please, wonderful. Just, just take my money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but give me what I want. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and the amazing and, video capability as well now too. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean, neither of these have uh, you know the mic input option. That's true. But they're not. Not video video cameras. They're, I mean, they're they're kind of they're geared. Meant, they're geared towards photographers, yeah. photographers, travel yeah. bloggers. Uh, you know, and, and I mean, everybody wants a little, you know, some great video. But you know, mm -hmm. as we mentioned earlier, there yep. there are options around them. Yep. 
the Wi-Fi is a great feature actually yeah. too. Uh, yeah. Just on all the cameras, remote yeah. control them. Uh, you can essentially um, transfer your photos right away on the yeah. fly. Yeah. And just from using, I think you were mentioning actually, you shoot a lot of the monochrome mode on your Pen F yeah. and even the L monochrome D, even the Trader camera JPEGs. Like, mm -hmm. I'm honestly just okay with. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm actually yeah. very happy with them. Yeah, I, I <laughs> out of my camera, I mean, I'm surprised how often I will just look at the JPEG and go, yeah, that's yeah, it. I'm, that's I'm posting that's that one. It. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us on uh, our little discussion on these two kind of like uh, rangefinder style street cameras. Yeah. The Olympus Pen F and the uh, Panasonic GX9. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Pause the Cat Cafe for letting us, us in here and uh, letting us play. Yeah. And thanks to uh, Otis the cat over here with the tie that's been letting us uh, Keeping us in space. line as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and also we want to thank Panasonic Canada for the uh, loaner. Um, it's been a pleasure actually using this one. Able to get a, me, bo us both getting a bit uh, actually a good feel for this one so yeah and this one's mine this one's mine now <laughs> i actually kind of i actually think i might actually buy this one <laughs> I, i'm tempted too as a as a second body it's, it's yeah it's a cool little unit not to mention it's a lot lighter than the pen f yeah 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 it is it is true it is it is significantly lighter than this guy too mm -hmm. but it is metal build so yeah so i mean with this you do get uh yeah. you know probably a little bit better build quality uh but you know I mean, material wise i would yeah. say yeah yeah exactly this is also yeah. yeah this one also i do find like despite the um even just like not having the same metal build quality it's fit and finish is actually quite nice actually. it is it feels so very yeah. solid still i do like the little built-in grip uh mm -hmm. that's it's it's yeah. kind of i've got uh, a little leather grip i put mm -hmm. on mine that makes it a little easier to hold yeah. but uh that little side grip uh, makes it nice and mm -hmm. uh comfortable to carry around i forgot to actually even mention this one actually uh just the latest feature on this one a lot of the panasonics now and sony's and a lot of the new mirrorless coming out you can actually in charge in body now, which oh, is actually a pretty yeah. neat feature. I actually struggled with this one. They, I was actually about to say F Panasonic and just like, I was actually trying to pry this open with my fingers thinking this is such a stupid design. Like, but I, then I found this. Look at that. Just a little push and it just slides right in and you have access to your HDMI and just your charger like that. And then I changed my mind. I was like, oh my God, this is genius. Like, thank yeah. you, Panasonic. This is amazing. This yeah, is... that is kind of cool. Yeah, bam. <laughs> I actually spent probably a good 10 minutes just <laughs> playing with this just as a fidget yeah. toy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wear it out. Don't break it. Yeah. Don't break it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, thanks again. Well, thanks again for watching. Um, join us next time and stay tuned. <laughs>